Securing integration with Collaborator Workforce Management and Call Recording recreates a unified desktop experience. Let me show you how Turing integrates with Collaborator. First off, agents can view their schedule directly from within Finesse. They can see when they're in service time, their break times are, lunch, uh, and when their shift ends. Further, agents have the ability to request vacation and shift swaps. Agents can receive pop-up notifications or alerts for upcoming or pending or future break states. Uh, further, with in regards to real-time adherence, agent states can be set to break while on a call that goes long, putting them out of real-time adherence, or when their break starts and they're, and they're in a ready state. So it helps them get into that real-time adherence state rather quickly. Once an agent has an active call, you have access to call recording controls directly from within Finesse for pause and resume capabilities. If you notice, I've got my pause button here. I'm going to go ahead and click that. And now you'll see that the recording indicator is in a pause state over here for this particular call. When I click the resume button, you'll notice that the indicator for the call being recorded is now present again. If I need to tag this call for uh, review for my supervisor, I have a tag button right here that allows me to tag that. So if I have a good call or a bad call, I can only select my supervisor know. One of the things I like to point out is customer journey. Uh, within our application, we can show anytime the customers called, chatted, or emailed with us. Uh, we have column headings at the top that you can sort on and uh, boxes below that that you can filter out for particular events that you're looking for. When I go ahead and select the call, a few things. You can see how many agents have worked on this particular call, any call variables that might have been used or set uh, during the process. And we also have a notes field that can get can contain up to a thousand characters and they go right in here. The key thing I would like to point out for the recording integration is we have access to play this recording back directly from the nest right here. Uh, from the supervisory perspective, we had the ability to see the, the agent's previous interactions and everything the agents worked on chronologically. So again, when I come over here, select this interaction, I'm able to pull it up, view the call notes right here, uh, as well as access that recording directly from within Finesse. Uh, other things that our application can do is we can push a link to the recording to the CRM system of your choice. So we can include that link so you have a more complete customer uh, or picture of what's happening with that customer. And then finally, from the agent perspective, we allow hot desking for agents for Cisco. Uh, so agencies that come in or are moving around throughout the day, we support hot desking. Now, as I switch over to the supervisor side, you'll notice that I have access to my agent's schedule for Calabria Workforce Management directly from within Finesse. So I can see the agent's break times, lunch times, and even their end of shift. Further, I have the ability to look and see if that agent is in, is in real-time adherence or if they're out of real-time adherence. To help the supervisor along and manage the team a little bit better, we provide pop-up or toast notifications about various states the agent is in. So for example, if the agent's on a long call, I can receive a pop-up notification. This is going to help the supervisor know when agents are having challenging times with calls and can provide guidance or training on better call steering methodologies. Further, if the agent is on a long break or is starting their break late, we can receive those notifications allowing us to get that agent back into real-time adherence quicker. Uh, if an agent goes into a RONA status and they stay in that RONA or redirect on no answer status for too long, we can notify the supervisor to get that agent back into a ready status so that they'll be able to uh, manage the call volumes appropriately. Throughout the day, supervisors are going to need to change or modify agents' skills. We can modify or change skills in a variety of ways. We can modify an agent skills, a team skills, a attribute or precision-based skilling, or even queue-based skilling. So first, I'm gonna start with agent-based skilling. So first thing, when I click on my agent queues, I see a list of all queues that are available. What I'm going to do is I'm going to reskill my agent for South Chat CSQ. So when I click on the South Chat CSQ button, you'll notice I've now, uh, I've highlighted that. It's over here in my pending changes, and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna click save. A couple things happen here. We can schedule the, this change to occur at a particular date and time. We can also auto-revert these changes at a particular date and time to make it easy. If you want to reskill immediately or in bulk, we can do that as well. So there are a variety of ways that we can reskill that agent or, or modes. Now, as I go ahead and I select my team, this is where I can modify my team cues or my precision cues or uh, attribute based skilling. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on my team cues and you'll notice that I've got a couple different prof profiles set. I'm going to select voice only today and then I'm going to click apply that profile. So what's going to happen is once uh, 
we click apply here. Uh, in a few seconds, this will uh, apply that profile to the entire team of agents. So anybody that's within my finesse team, the great thing about this is you can have scheduled times that they changes revert back to. So if you want to on a Monday, a Tuesday, a Wednesday, a Thursday, or a particular time, you can have different profiles based on the day of the week. So we make it easy for you uh, to make those changes. Kind of the next piece of this is, is precision skilling. So when I open up my precision skilling tool or attribute based skilling, I can do a variety of things. First, I can search for any uh, agent with a skill uh, or competency level equal to or greater in this case six. So what you'll notice is that I found every agent within the group that has that competency. If I go ahead and clear that out, you'll notice that we'll find agents with other competencies in there now. If I want to change uh, an, a particular agent's competency or skill rating, I can simply come over here, click in the grid and modify that. So for example, I'm going to change this agent's competency to a nine. So we, you can now see that pending change. If I want to modify the entire team skill profile, I can do that as well. So I'm going to take and modify and add a skill of five to my entire team. And now you'll notice that change has occurred. So again, we make this easy uh, to modify uh, precision skills. Skills. Kind of the next piece is queue-based skilling. So I've shown you, you know, agent-based skilling, team-based skilling, precision skilling, and now what we're going to do is, is skill an, uh, an entire queue. So when I come over here and click my skilling tool, what's going to happen? I'm going to see all the agents available for this team. So I simply come over here. I'm going to add uh, these for agents quickly. Uh, I can do that in a scheduled mode, immediate or bulk. Uh, again, with scheduled mode, when I go ahead and hit save, I can define the date and time the schedule goes into effect, and I can even auto revert those changes back to the previous skill configuration so that we don't have to uh, try to do skill resets at the end of the day. Using tiering gadgets, Collaborio customers should see a schedule optimization gain of anywhere from two to three percent, and customers that need an intraday analyst or analyst could potentially eliminate that position. You might ask how our customers can get these types of ROIs? Well, here's how. Turing can provide many different types of notifications, like a pop-up or toast notification, a, uh, a ticker within Finesse, a text or SMS message, collaboration software, such as Microsoft Teams, WebEx Teams, or Slack, notifications, uh, are based on a variety of events. Now, please know that Two Ring is a Cisco centric offering. We span many verticals from healthcare to finance, retail, utilities, etc. In other words, any customer that's leveraging Cisco Contact Center Express, packaged, enterprise, hosted, WebEx Contact Center, as well as enterprise would benefit from our gadgets for Cisco Finesse, as well as a Calabrio integration. Turing is a market leader when it comes to enhancing Cisco contact centers. We are known as the gadget guys, since we have been out there building gadgets from the first release of Cisco Finesse many, many years ago. We also offer business user-friendly real-time reporting that brings in data from multiple data sources and allows users to create pretty layouts using different content types. When you say wallboards, many think of Turing. First, we invite you to go to turing.com forward slash demo to schedule your personalized walkthrough of our products. In addition, we invite you to go to turing.com forward slash Collaborio to see all of our information and so much more.